Hey everybody, welcome to my second Let's Play of the Movies. Um, this is Mars Attack Studios. Uh, that was one of my favorite movies when I was younger. Uh, I loved how the aliens were really, they looked all friendly and nice, but yet they caused havoc and chaos everywhere. Anyways, this is going to just be a casual, fun Let's Play of the Movies. Uh, the first one that I did... I was very played it very efficiently and I was trying to get all the wards as fast as I could but this time I just want to play it creatively um, and write some actually decent movies uh, this time uh, I think that that'll, that'll be fun uh, I'm still gonna improvise you know conversation and dialogue on Welcome top of the to movies uh, like I did before I'm terrible at that as you all know but it, it provides some fun so First things first, let's hire let's hire five builders. And one janitor. Well, it would appear we have a new movie studio opening in town. So if you're looking for employment in this fledgling industry, why not take a stroll over to the beach and hand in your resume? Remember, unlike the wireless, you don't need a good voice to be in a movie. Okay, so the only thing that I want to do it, as far as planning goes is I want the bar to be right front and center. Because, you know, anytime you go into a movie studio lot, the first thing you should be able to find is the bar. Because, you know, that's where all the actors and actresses and directors want to be. So, um, so I counted out uh, before I started the game how many tiles it took. And I thought it was 16 by 13. So uh, let's count out uh, the proper number here. Okay, that should be good on that side. Okay, and that's 16, so now we just need to go back 13. Okay, I think that's 13. I may have miscounted. We'll see later on. Okay, so that's where the bar is going to be. I think that's cool. We'll just have a road running straight down that way. And one back this way. The road is width of four squares, so we'll do that. Connect this up. Let's see, one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four. Okay, and I think a road, that's one, two, three, four, so we'll have a road running back this way too. So I basically just want this to be aesthetically pleasing looking. Uh, there's no actual function for these roads. It doesn't, because cars don't drive on them, but I think they look good. So that's what we'll do. Um, so we might as well have a road running back this way too for some reason. Okay, let's build some buildings. Crew facility. Um, one thing I want to mention, I, I made a bunch of stars in the Star Maker with old-timey, like, Hollywood sort of names. Uh, we'll bring them in when we open up the custom script office, which is about 1930. Um, but until then, I think we'll just use all the people that we have uh, that line up here that hitchhiked out to Hollywood wanting to be stars. The people that want to rub elbows with the Hollywood elite and uh, become Hollywood elite. They want to attend a lot of wine and cheese parties. They want to be around the glitz and the glam. But I'm just building some of the essential buildings that we need here. 
a stage school we definitely need. I think the stage school will look just fine right there. How about a production office? No, let's do a script office. So we have to use the script office until... Let me put it right there. We have to use the script office until we get the custom script office. So I can't, I don't have any control over any of the scripts until then. That'll be around 1930, I think. Uh, I think I already said that, but... Here's the casting office. Let's build a set. Let's build the saloon first. Put the saloon there. And what's left? Production office. Put that up front. That's a good spot for it. Okay. What we can do is have a road running off this way. This looks like it's already connected up. Okay. Stage school is connected. I will connect. Make a path there just so it's uniform. This is the tedious part, is always the first uh, episode and building everything. But once we have it built, it's built and we don't have to worry about it. So we'll build a road all the way back here. And we can tarmac it, so... I think the bar will look nice right in the front. Uh, and again, I think that's 1930 that we get that. Okay. Go ahead and grass up the center. I mess that up. Okay. Let's hire some people. Let's hire a couple of script writers. Mans. I don't remember what your name. Manny, you Sophie, and Evelyn Bamford. Let's take somebody from this line and throw them over there too. Lara Sweeney can be crew, and Spencer Powers can be crew. And let's fix my little gaff here before it's too late and I forget. Okay. Okay, that looks nice. Click on here. Stage school has just been built. Let's connect this up. All right, that's the that's the uh, tedious part. But I think we've got the making of a nice-looking movie studio lot. I mean, 
we've got this nice little courtyard here sort of thing going on. Uh, pretty happy. All right, so let's hire some of these people here. Who do we got? Natasha Van Pay. Who are you? Emma Perkins. Maxine Hallworth. And Tom Rigby. Okay, well, let's make Natasha Van Pay a director. Um, Emma Perkins, she can be an actor. Let's make Tom Rigby an actor. And let's make Maxine Hallworth an extra. Okay. And we can get started. Uh, we're writing a romance movie now. So let's get the director in there, Natasha. Okay. Uh, let's get Tom Rigby going in there too. He can be a romance guy. Uh, Nat uh, Emma Perkins, she's off to squeeze one out. We don't need to know all that right now. Okay, but in the meantime, let's fix this issue here by the bathrooms. And that is, where are the trees? Just put a couple palm trees down and we'll clear out some of the red, red areas. Uh, let's give get the other trees. Yeah, they're already disappearing. Yeah. That looks good. Now people can enjoy this area because it's not so hideous. Um, let's put a bench here and a bench here. Let's put a bench... No, here. Can put a bench here. Here. That is looking good, if I must say so. That is a nice looking movie studio lot, so. Uh, the script's almost done. It's called A Frivolous Affair, romance movie. Hopefully they put it on the saloon set. And they did. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. Begin casting. Let's get Natasha Van Pay, the director. And let's get Tom Rigby as the romantic lead. They say that's a bad thing, but... Our extra is a woman, Maxine Hallworth, so Maxine and Tom will have to, uh, you know, get their chemistry going very quickly here. Um, and let's build another set. Let's build the horror set, which is the Rural Musty Cellar. Okay, let's build that right there. And when the builders build that, we can have our actress, and I think her name was Emma Perkins. Yeah, Emma Perkins. She can practice uh, horror. Okay. All right, one thing that we do need is... Mm, we need to shoot the movie. That's what we need. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot that. And in the last le le Let's Play that I did, you know that I micromanaged everybody and I brought them all, carried them all over to the sets and was on them 24-7 to make sure they were doing what they were supposed to be doing. Uh, I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just kind of going to let everybody do their, take their own time to get over here. Um, I will click on the sets, uh, just to see what the scenes are. That's funny, the guy's carrying the chair and the girl's carrying the heavy camera. Um, so that way if there's any kind of, um, uh, sliders that we can adjust, I, I can adjust them. But, let's put a basketball hoop down. It's a wrap. Uh, 
where are those? Under the chairs. That way people can play b-ball. Put that down. Put a gumball machine down. Okay. Looks good. Let's get Emma Perkins practicing her horror. Tantrum. Mad, stressed. I think. Angry, mad, or stressed. Angry's okay. <laughs> Cut. I'm it's a wrap. And I suggest that as the weather is nice, you enjoy it whilst remembering to work hard at whatever it is you are doing. <laughs> okay, you can close that off there. Let's put the palm trees down. Nice. Look where I put this one. <laughs> Alright, let's just put it back there. Put another one back there. Just a few nice little decorations. Okay, what's this scene doing now? He was talking about the scene. And he said, Mount St. James and Phoenix. I better go in with the weather. But I didn't say and he was talking about the same and he said, Mount St. James and Phoenix, I better go in and he was talking and he was talking and he was talking about and he was talking about the same and he said, Mount St. James and Phoenix, I better go in. Uh yeah, well the movie is appropriately named a frivolous of affair. Um and that's what it seems like this, this those scenes are so far. <laughs> Do we really need that many storyboards for this movie? I like the detail that's in here though, that's pretty neat. I think Natasha needs a new uh, haircut. Are they getting married? Wow. This movie. Alright, let's get Emma Perkins into the makeover department and see if we can do anything for her. You know, she's just some young starlet who hitchhiked from, like, Ohio out to Hollywood, so... She's a good-looking girl, though. Um, let's give her a necklace. That's a nice... How about a bracelet, a watch? Um, I like her hair. Um, she looks good. I don't know about this, though. This is... Yeah, it looks like just a marriage proposal or something. Well, again, until we can write our own movies, this is what we're going to end up with. So, Mars Attack Studios is starting off kind of weak. We're littering all over the place. Cut! My name is William McDuff, and 
and I'm announcing the records on KMVS. Currently. It's a wrap. I hope you are enjoying my selection of tools. Alright, well, there's definitely a lot of litter everywhere, because these stars like to litter, so let's take one of the builders, John Pope, and make him a janitor instead. Do you have any objections, objections to that, John Pope? No, he, he doesn't mind. Okay, well, let's release this movie and see how a frivolous affair does. Now, I didn't have them become friends or anything so the ratings are going to be pretty poor on this Tom Rigby had no experience whatsoever so he's probably going to put in an awful performance the star rating was less than a star let's see Nice to meet you. Where did you get in town? I just rode in on my horse. Well, where's my waffles? You just rode in on your horse, but there's no waffles here, and I want waffles. I want waffles with syrup. So I suggest that you get back in the kitchen and whip up some batter and make me a giant waffle. I want a waffle that's as big as my head. You understand? You understand? I want a waffle as big as my head. Let's just get married instead. I don't like cooking. I only cook French toast. Well, I guess French toast is better than nothing. Do you know how to make omelets too? I like ham and cheese omelets. How about you go shove your omelet up your... What? Whatever you just said to offend me, I forgive you. Let's... let's... I... do declare we here be wed. And our movie outdid our music. But I love you, non-waffle maker. Wow. 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 <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, I, I, I... My commentary was awful. Tom Rigby was terrible. If bad directing was a crime, yeah, Tom Rigby... Uh, uh, appalling. So that's how we're going to start this Let's Play. Is with an 11th rated terrible romance movie by Tom Rigby. He's littered all over the lot. He's swearing. I don't know. This this is this is not how Mars Mars Attack Studios wanted to, to start this. Dropping litter. You know what? I, I think this might be best for all of us. I, I think this is how we just need to start. You're, you're, you're fired, Rigby. Yeah. You're fired. That was probably the worst movie that I, I've ever seen. Um, it wasn't even a star. You littered all over the place. Just get out of, get out of my studio lot. Just get out of here. And Natasha Van Pay, you are on notice as well. Uh, let's get them going. Whoa. And let's get our script writers writing. That was that was an awful, awful yeah. movie. Um, we we definitely need to change the fortunes uh, of Mars Attack Studios. So, um, all right, I'm gonna leave this episode here. So, anybody watching that wants to be a character in the game, feel free to leave it in the comments, and I'll I'll make a character for you and bring you into the game. 
um, in 1930 when we get the custom script office we'll be able to write our own scripts and that's what I plan on doing so it'll be a lot more entertaining it'll be very creative um, and we're also gonna put the bar right there so anyways thanks for watching I hope uh, oh good we got somebody to replace Tom Rigby already David Thatcher sweet well let's hire David so um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here, and thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. So long, everyone.